President Obama stated, we must restore math and science to its rightful place. I was a rocket scientist for years. Everyone wants to become an executive. Everyone wants to become a manager. Everyone wants to run an organization. But I'm here to tell you, if there's no product to organize and efficiently manage, there is no US economy. You know all the investments that you've made, you've worked so hard for? You know your social security that you've paid into? Within 10 years, if there's not a level, substantial level of creative problem solvers here in this country, imagining it all going to zero, can you afford not to invest now? This country is uh, presented with a lot of challenges, and I, I thought that her presentation was very well put together, and uh, you know, hopefully our, our country will do something about it. We must restore science to its rightful place. I recognize the United States right now is not equipped with individuals who can master technology like this. I'm here today to tell you the truth. The United States is filled with advanced, high-class paper pushers known as MBAs. Wow, I don't see how anyone could really understand math and engineering because I don't know anything about math. I, I hire people for that function and I do not know anything about numbers really. When I was a kid, uh, I hated mathematics. I've been a teacher for many years. I taught remedial reading and math. We need more math training and math uh, help. Many people believe that the economic success is based on gross domestic production. And a lot of people believe that is the background towards our economic success. But I'm here today to tell you that it's not. The formula economic success, ES, is equal to E times M squared times P squared. The E stands for eliminating math phobia. Nine out of 10 students here in the United States have a math phobia. The math phobia literally shuts off the creative thinking in the frontal brain lobes. And that's the same necessary component that allows a person to transport a problem in math into a solution. Olympia LaPointe is motivating and a fun speaker and is so wise in terms of helping kids with a really difficult subject these days, math. Economic success, remember, is built on eliminating math phobia and the M stands for making math mandatory. In one case, a person is illiterate in English, yet another case, someone is illiterate in math. Why is the second case okay? We are literally in the middle of a race. China last year has graduated over 100,000 individuals in math and science but yet the United States has graduated less than 10,000, and that was just in 2008 alone. And the numbers are steadily decreasing. Uh, Olympia was a very motivational speaker. She, she was a very direct speaker. She connected with her audience very well. I really enjoyed her. The second M is making math socially sexy. This has happened before. This has happened before in 1957. Well, that same thing can happen now. We've seen a president use our current technology. And as I remember in his inauguration speech again, he said that we must transform schools, colleges, and universities to meet the demands of the new age. If you saw three beautiful women on the TV or internet, and they were going around solving people's problems using math. Would you be interested? She's absolutely beautiful, ha is beautiful inside and out. It really comes through when she speaks. She's a fabulous speaker, so I found that very inspiring. The P in the equation stands for partnering with other countries using mathematics. And the last way, the last P, is providing 
free math and science education for those individuals who are majoring in math and science coursework. So economic success is not just creating these gross domestic products, but rather it's eliminating math phobia. It is making math mandatory. It is making math socially acceptable and sexy. It's partnering with other countries. It is providing free math and science education. That is the way that we will increase innovation and in turn create products that not only the United States can purchase, but the entire world will be able to purchase. Everything makes sense. It was really great, and as a result of this, uh, she's got me motivated to do something I've been thinking about but haven't taken action on, and that is to go back to school and take a couple of math classes. As VP of Programming for the Santa Monica Rotary Club, I want to thank you, Olympia, for making me look so great with your, ter your terrific topic, something that really is needed, and I feel very honored that you are here, and I would recommend you to any other Rotary Club or organization to speak.